it going? I hope you all are doing amazing. If you're new here, hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Vince de Rose. Nice to meet you. If you're not new here, hello and welcome back. I'm so happy you joined me again today. So today, y'all, we're going to do a pick a card reading on what do people find magnetic about you, okay? We do have three piles for you to choose from today. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three, all right? And if you feel drawn to, feel free to choose more than one. That's, again, only if you feel drawn to, okay? So we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Let's begin. All right, so if you chose pile number one, this is your reading pile number one. So let's see, what do people find magnetic about you, okay? Before we even get into these channel messages, you guys, why was I just hearing the song, um, My Milkshake Brings Other Boys to the Yard, okay? So I feel like every time I do this kind of reading, there's always that one group that loves music, that loves dance, all right? I can't be mad at you, but this is definitely like the highlight so far of the reading, um, so one of the things that people find magnetic about you is your dance moves, okay? I feel like you could be someone that knows how to lead a dance floor, okay? Like I was seeing like a wedding and it was like an empty floor, all right? And people coming in, joining you because you were like the one who started the whole thing. You may be the one who puts a DJ onto music, you know? Maybe you put your friends onto songs, you know, songs that get people dancing, that get people together, all right? And one of the verses that I was hearing um, from the song was, I could teach you, but I'm going to have to charge, okay? So this is another thing that, that people find magnetic about you is that you're not afraid, you know, <laughs> to promote your service no matter where you are, whether you're on vacation, whether you're at your nine to five, whether you're at a party, take it how it resonates. I feel like you're quick to hand out a business card. You're quick to talk about your service, your business. You're quick to, you know, talk about entrepreneurship as well. I feel like this is one of the things that people find magnetic about you because you are someone that is building. You're building from the ground up, okay? I was also picking up on um, someone promoting not only their business, but someone else's. Okay, so yeah, like you definitely help support those around you. You could be someone that refers your clients to your friends, you know, like I feel like you have business and you help other people's businesses grow. And that's that's something that people find magnetic about you. Okay. And uh, I was also picking up on like teachers. Some of you guys could be like homeschoolers. You could actually be a teacher, you know, classroom. All right, whether that's like young students, adolescents, you know, high school, or this could be like dance classes. Um, I was picking up on someone <clears throat> like playing music, keeping people entertained, keeping people having fun, keeping people happy. So it's like, you know how to entertain a crowd. Okay. Pot number one. And this is why people find you magnetic. I was also hearing that song Encore. All right. So another thing that people find magnetic, pile number one, is the fact that your services, you know, they're good quality and your prices are very much like reasonable. So people find your services to be very much affordable and also like their expectations are overly met. All right. People find that when they are around you, when they do sign up for your course, your class, your service, that they do end up leaving, you know, with a smile on their face. All right. I feel like people are also magnetically drawn to you, all right? You may notice that, like, a lot of people, you know, come back, all right, after you give them a service, and that's because you definitely met their expectations, okay? So, what I wrote down for the channel messages was, the first message was blending, okay? I was thinking of the movie Blended by um, Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler. Some of you guys may be familiar with that movie, but blending was the first message. And I feel like this has to do with like, <clears throat> like,
like your friend group um you could have like a friend group that consists of like different ethnicities cultures uh backgrounds you know etc but like with you you know everything is like union all right like i feel like you can easily blend in a crowd because of your ability to blend all right i got the channel message similar in nature but different by structure all right so you may notice that like a lot of your friend groups you guys are very much similar in the interest all right in the things that you talk about you guys can relate but you come from different backgrounds all right like stuff like that okay that's what i was picking up on like people are drawn to you like friend wise like they want to be your friend or they want to you know be close to you in that way all right but i also feel like your friend group something about who you hang around with and when you guys are together you become something bigger and this is also what people find magnetic about you and it doesn't even have to be friends it could be you know um you know whoever you're close to okay the next message i got was if you have a business or some sort of platform yeah with these group of friends you allow everyone to add their own mix yes so i was picking up on that so you allow everyone to add like their own mix with no judgment no interference and this could again also refer to your family all right and i was saying that because if you look at this image you see like all these roses and they're like different shades and stuff like that's where i got that message how like everyone you know kind of adds their own mix to this you know I did put this could be your family, close cousins or siblings. All right. I do feel like what makes you magnetic is um, the fact that you built a bond with people close to you and you really do honor that connection. I feel like you're a ride or die. All right. To those around you. And this also feels like co-workers as well. All right. And this is what people find magnetic about you. The next thing I was picking up on is that you're someone that takes many dares in life. All right. I was seeing a smirk. Okay. So yeah, you could definitely be someone that likes to smirk a lot or you just, you know, again, someone that loves a gamble. You love a good gamble. All right. This is what people find magnetic about you. Okay. It was definitely something in regards to you, like always wanting to take a chance on something. All right, and that goes back to the beginning, how I was picking up on someone like leading the dance floor, okay? So you could lead your group of friends or your your family to certain events, like you put people on to certain things and you know, you are the one that really like leads the fun, okay, of the whole day. Um, then I got the message, yeah, you're always the first to volunteer as tribute. All right, so that's a confirmation. Um, I definitely do feel like you're someone that makes life worth living, okay? You give encouragement to those around you, pot number one, and this is what people find magnetic about you. I did get the channel message, if I got it, then you got it, okay? So yeah, I feel like you are definitely someone that gives to your group. You give to, you know, yours, okay? And also your business, your clients. This is what people find magnetic about you. You may have a lot of clients that return to you and they bring new clientele in for you because of this. You may get a lot of reviews, good reviews from parents, you know, from people because, you know, their children, when they leave your house or when they leave your class, they, they speak so highly of you, pot number one. I feel like you just allow people to be who they are. And you, again, it's something about you like combining things. Like you add everyone's mix into everything. You bring everyone together, pot number one. Um, and also I did write down matching tattoos and I wrote this down because when I looked at the um, image, I see that they all have tattoos. So this could be something that you have done. Maybe you have gotten matching tattoos with someone. Um, it doesn't even have to be tattoos. It could be like a... Um, Maybe nail art, nail polish, it could be earrings, it could be hair, you know, something like that. Maybe you guys all go to the same um, person, you know, take it how it resonates. But I feel like, again, this goes back to you bringing business for those around you, like your friends, you know, people that you love, people that you trust, you help bring business in for others. And this is what uh, people find magnetic about you.
All right. And another message that I got was you include your people. Yeah, include your people in your life. Okay. When I wrote that down, I was thinking of like a teacher sharing something personal, maybe like, oh, you know, I'm expecting. All right. And she shares that with her whole classroom. All right. So it's like you allow people to feel included. Okay. Even if they're not, you know, someone that you consider a close friend, it's like whoever's in proximity with you, you allow them to feel included. This calls to be if any of you guys got like a channel, um, you know, TikTok, if you're a social media content creator, you like may go live and you put, you know, your audience on, you definitely share things about your life. And I feel like it's, it's very raw. It's very authentic of you. And this is one of the things that people find magnetic about you is because they feel so included. All right. Um, the next message that I got was you're always up for something. All right. I could definitely tell like in the beginning with the dancing. Okay. So, you know, for example, if someone's afraid to, I don't know, try something new, if they're afraid to go to the doctors by themselves, if they're afraid to go to a meeting by themselves, I feel like you are someone that offers your hand, you know, to be next to this person. It's like an energy of like facing things together. All right. You are, you're such a loyal friend, pot number one. You're a loyal cousin, you're a loyal sister, brother, mom, dad, you know, aunt, uncle, you know, take it out, resonates, niece, nephew. All right. You're a loyal person. And these are the things that people find magnetic about you. Okay. So those are the channel messages. I did feel like that was like all over the place. <laughs> That's because I kind of got thrown off by the channel song. So let's get into your Oracle card. Okay. So hold on one second. <clears throat> So you guys got number 18, treasured memories. I love that. All right. So treasured memories. Um, this card has to do with memories, nostalgia, and recognition. All right. We see a woman sitting calmly in the grass. She looks forward to somewhere we don't know. While her mind is drifting in the past with both hands, she is holding a floating balloon filled with clouds. These clouds are old memories. She wants to keep and treasure. Our past experience don't define us. We can't live the life we had long ago, but the past does shape us. And remembrance of loved ones and joyful times can help us be our best selves today. Okay, so... One of the things that people also find magnetic about you is that, again, you have a way of including people in your life that may not even be physically there. This could be past loved ones. Like, for example, I was getting like weddings. OK, so say you're getting married and say you have a past loved one. All right. So you may have something of theirs and you may decide to bring it there to honor them. All right. You definitely have a way of just bringing everyone together. All right. Even the past people that have, you know, maybe didn't serve you well, that may have betrayed you, I heard disrespected you, all right? I feel like you still hold love for these people, these individuals, and you may not even, that's crazy because now I'm like, you, you may not even talk bad about them. You may not even talk about them in general. Yeah, because I'm going back to the verses, our past experience don't define us. So you may give them grace. You may give them love and light. You understand that, you know, everyone goes through stages, okay? So you definitely have a way of, I don't know, not judging others, Ponder One. That's, yeah, that's not easy to do, okay? I feel like you're just non-judgmental. All right, so you even send love and light to those again in the past. All right, this is one of the things that people find magnetic about you. They they rarely hear you speak bad, all right, about people. Um, you may like, you know, bite your tongue, you know, hold back, not gossip, like stuff like that. I feel like you do not participate in um, conversations that, you know, may dwell in that okay i love that pot number one you're definitely like a leader you you set an example for many okay so we're going to pull just a couple cards from tarot 
Okay, so also number 18, I see that she has like roses or like flowers in her hair. It's like red hair, mm, more like red purplish hair or something like that. You could also like to dye your hair like colors, okay? You may also like to add flowers in your hair. Another thing is you love your natural hair. That's that's beautiful part number one so what people find magnetic about you is that you may teach others how to rock their natural um essence okay so whether that's like you know natural products organic stuff you know stuff that is better for us i feel like you encourage this stuff or right, this may actually be products that you have you know maybe you um have like skincare products okay and your products are actually like effective like they work okay and this is what people find magnetic about you is because they feel like they can trust you okay and you may also like sponsor other people so you have a way of again bringing business in for others like that's amazing pot number one Okay, so anything else for, for pot number one? Sixes could be significant. Eights could be significant. That's June and uh, August. All right, so the first message, nine of swords and the two of wands. Okay, I immediately got a cure. Literally, nine of swords, you may notice your clientele is like, oh, nothing worked for me. I have tried everything. And then you're like, I got you. I got you and you actually got them whether that's like a service of yours a product of yours or again it's the friends you have around you you're like oh I have a friend that's really good with this you know she can help you he can help you all right and this is what you are to people you literally put people on all right and I feel like again you include people in your life so you may also share like experiences you may show them pictures like before and afters you're like oh no this stuff really works okay also, I'm, I'm picking up on like weight loss, something like that here. So people find you magnetic because again, you show your raw, authentic self. You show yourself behind the scenes, okay? I feel like you also talk about like things that you battle, things that you struggle with. And you let people know, you know, that we're all human. We're all human. We're not perfect. We're perfectly imperfect, all right? You're definitely a good friend, okay? All right, so I got the Six of Wands and then the Wheel of Fortune, but it came out in reverse. Okay. I feel like also in the Devil cards in the back, I'm telling you, you're not afraid to tell people the before and the after okay so with the devil in reverse i feel like that was just confirming again like your setbacks your testimonies your trials and tribulations you speak about that and this is what people find magnetic about you all right you don't come off as this i'm only the one that's perfect no you show people what you are now because of you know the work you put into yourself the the belief you had in yourself like i said you're someone that is a dare a dare okay so you you take dares in life all right so you understand not everything you know permanent you have the ability to change all right whatever you want to change all right pot number one you're so motivating so influencing I, I feel like you are definitely like an entrepreneur okay or at least you're building this okay and i feel like you have a community of people that like support you that look highly of you and they they speak you know good things behind your back they're like pot number one is is a great friend Partner one is a great sister, a great brother, a great mom, a great dad, okay? Yeah, and and this goes back to the past people as well, and it, it feels like it's because you are someone that, again, gives everyone grace, okay? Regardless of the bad experiences, I feel like you definitely... You know how to hold someone accountable, but you also have a way of understanding. You know what? Maybe that person's having a bad day, all right? Like, I feel like you don't hold grudges, and this is what people find magnetic about you, pawn number one, all right? So I think I'm going to end it there. This resonated with you. Feel free to let me know. I would love to know. With that being said, love and light, and bye-bye. All right, so if you chose pawn number two, this is your reading, pawn number two. 
So let's see, what do people find magnetic about you? All right, so before we get into the channel messages, you guys, I did get a channel song and I seem to always get the channel songs right before I record. So it's, it's kind of strange, but anyway, so one of the things, was the song okay lovers and friends i'm sure maybe you guys heard that song maybe you didn't i suggest looking it up okay because i was hearing the verse specifically when he's like tell me again and he's like tell me again that we'll be lovers and friends okay so that may also be the people that really do find you to be magnetic ponomer too is the people that you know you have been romantically involved with and also your friendships okay but what i was getting was you know the fact that i was hearing that verse over and over tell me again this is going to sound cliche but pound number two it's your voice this is what people find magnetic about you they love your voice they love the tone um you know what you speak about how you speak all right it's very magnetic okay i i feel like you really do give people butterflies you know the things you say whether that's like the things you tell people that you like okay or whether you just tell people about the things that you like about them all right take it how it resonates but i do feel like you can give people butterflies just by you speaking all right you turn some people on too all right, that's what I'm getting with this lover and friends. I feel like you bring a lot of chemistry to connections, pawn number two. And this is what people find magnetic about you. You're very unforgettable. All right. Um, this definitely does feel like people that have, you know, gotten a chance to experience you romantically. And they may notice that the connection between you both is it's like a best friends and lovers. Okay. And this is something that people find magnetic about you, okay? So that was from the channeled song. Let's get into the channel messages that I wrote down, okay? So, pile number two. Also, I wanted to point out that doesn't she look like Ashanti, the singer? I wrote that down, Ashanti. Oh my gosh, some of you guys may also sing. That's, that's probably why I was getting voice too. All right. Um, and I did write down a song by hers and it's called happy and I was getting the verse you fill me up with so much joy okay so yeah part number two you speak joy onto people okay you are the friend the lover um, family member that will boost up someone's confidence in a heartbeat like I feel immediately okay you can get someone's heartbeat racing all right you may notice that all right people may be shy around you people that that um that are interested in you you may notice they may stutter they may be nervous they may be you know their heart is like racing and it's because of that like you have them fluttering in the, on the inside okay so it's like you're boosting their confidence but you're making them even more shy all right i hope that makes sense part number two so not only like do you give confidence to people but um you lift those around you okay all these butterflies are just making me think of um you helping raise someone's vibration to a higher frequency okay so with you know helping raise someone's frequency you may also be like a healer all right you may help balance people's chakras you know when people hear your music they they feel healed okay it feels like after a sound bowl meditation you know that soft flowy feeling that you get this is what you do for people and this is why people find you magnetic pa number two um, the next message that I got was something about transformations, okay? So I know like butterflies um, can symbolize that, okay? So that is some of the things that you also do. You call out the transformations um, in those around you. So if you see that someone has put in so much work, you call it out. 
you you let them know like hey I, I i see you you know i see you doing better and you really do let them know and that's why i feel like again you may help boost their confidence but you may also make them shy and nervous at the same time like i feel like you know um, a lot of people may blush around you pound number two you may have like a lot of friends that like catch feelings for you unexpectedly and that, that's why pound number two that is why okay <clears throat> i feel like you're someone that also oh yeah i did write this down i forgot that i wrote that down okay so i did put you're someone that knows what being told a good job does for someone okay so yeah um you spread the love to the world all right um you're like an angel literally you're an angel let's just call you an angel okay you're an angel to children, to animals, okay? And this is why, you know, people are drawn to you. This is why, you know, animals may be drawn to you, okay? Children may be drawn to you. Um, I feel like another thing that makes you magnetic is that you have this genuine love to see others blossom into better and like healed versions of themselves, pawn number two. You know how... People say, you know, only like a mother, a mother could, you know, love this person. You know, I don't even know how it goes, honestly, but this is the energy that it gives. Okay. I feel like you could be a mother to all, a mother to many, a father to all, a father to many. Okay. You want everyone to transform themselves. You want, you want better for everyone. Okay. But there's something about you being like a catalyst, like you help people get out of that cocoon stage and actually, you know, become that butterfly, pawn number two. And it's because of the healing powers that you give, all right? The healing powers that you speak onto people. You really do speak transformation onto others, okay? You make someone walk away with a smile on their face because you told them something that they may have never even heard from their own mom, from their own dad, all right? Maybe from their own, you know, family members, okay? That's what you do. And this is why people find you to be so magnetic, pawn number two. Um, the next message that I got was you're a selfless person, okay? And I actually felt drawn to Google that. <clears throat> So the um, definition of selfless person is someone that is concerned with, I'm sorry, concerned more with the needs and the wishes of others than with one's own, okay? So you're unselfish, okay? You're honestly a healer, pawn number two. I feel like you may have that purpose on earth to heal um, to heal those that, again, have never experienced that kind of healing, have experienced that kind of genuine support, that genuine love, okay? Maybe you guys never received this yourself, but you somehow possess this. You have all of this healing nature within you, okay? I put, you don't have to be physically a healer, but energetically, you are. Like, you heal many. That's what I wrote down, okay? So I'm going to repeat that. You don't have to be physically, but energetically, you heal many. So that's so powerful, part number two, because it just states it's your presence, all right? You are just naturally magnetic, okay? You are naturally healing to so many people around you. Um, also, I was getting something about like softness, soft colors, soft music, um, and then I wrote down fluffy. So there's definitely something about that. I know that may sound strange. So yeah, something about fluffy around you. I feel like this just goes back to like the lightness, the airiness, you know, about you. You're just gentle by nature, okay? Your soft approaches towards others is what makes you so magnetic, pile number two, okay? Um, so those are the channel <laughs> messages that I got. Let's go into your oracle. Okay, so you guys got number 13. Let's go to the page. 
Okay, so number 13, it's Morning Dew Girl. All right, and Dew is D-E-W. So Morning Dew Girl. All right, so this card means face your fears, awareness, and consciousness. The woman on this card collects fat raindrops into a basket of leaves. She is called Morning Dew Girl, and she symbolizes the receiving and absorption of all worries and fears. She invites us to start sharing our own feelings and worries. We can collect them and deal with them instead of hiding them deep inside. She stands resolute and strong, ready to face her fears. While fear can be as powerful as a river, once confronted, it may turn out to be as small as a drop of dew. Wow, that's so, that's such a beautiful message. Part number two, you allow people to, again, get out of that cocoon stage, okay? You may actually, and that's funny, it's 12, 12 p.m. on the clock right now. You are definitely someone that helps people face the world. Like you really are, like I said, the mother, the father of many, all right? You help people see that it's okay. Um, now I'm getting the image of like a bike. Okay, so you know how people transition from the training wheels to then, you know, removing the training wheels. There's something about that here. You are like a teacher, a trainer, all right? You really do help people see that it's okay, you know, you can do this. Like that's what it is. And it's the fact that you speak about their good doings okay you tell people when they're doing a good job you make people feel so confident about themselves that it gives them the strength the power and the mindset that they can do this that they got this part number two i feel like you may have a lot of people attached to you as well because i keep looking at these butterflies and some of them are on her okay so I do feel like not only are you magnetic, but you're also, you can become addicting as well. All right. And that goes back to that song when he's like, tell me again, tell me again, because people really do want to hear this from you. You may have to repeat yourself a lot and it's, it's low key because they want to hear you speak. They want to hear you say something again. All right. You may really know how to uplift so many souls. Okay. And I feel like it's not just friendship. It's romantic. All right. Like I feel that strongly. It's definitely some kind of romantic connections that people like really do um, love about you. Okay. So Let's pull from Tarot. My angels, my ancestors, my spirit team, my spirit guys. Some of you guys may like the color blue. Um, not like dark blue, but like a, a, I don't, like a turquoise, a light blue, um, pastel blue. All right. Okay. So my angels, my ancestors, my spirit team, my spirit guides. For part number two, what do people find magnetic about them? Please and thank you. What do people find magnetic about them? You may also like pink as well, okay? It could be like the uh, fuchsia pink that's being shown here. Okay, we have Ace of Wands. Wow. Of course, Ace of Wands comes out. Ace of Wands is a card, oh my gosh, and not only Ace of Wands, but Ace of Pentacles is in the back of the deck. So Aces, you help people ace the test, literally. And why do they ace the test? Because they have you as a teacher. You are such a great teacher. You're such an inspiration. I can't say much more, part number two. You're, you're breathtaking, all right? This is what people find magnetic about you. You give beginnings to people. You allow people to see the fresh starts that they can really have, all right? Like they want to take a chance on themselves because of the goodness that you speak on them, the goodness that you speak on their work, all right? You help people see the potential in themselves. Why does this feel like children to me? I'm trying to, because butterflies, you know, again, I know it's like transformations, but it, it feels a lot like children. It doesn't have to only be children, but 
I do feel like you may be someone that's into like community work. You may volunteer a lot. You may, um, I'm hearing aftercare. So I know like aftercare is like for people who, yeah, isn't that like after school? I think it's after school. So they go to, you know, um, like a like a club, like a boys and girls club, or like just an aftercare program, like a daycare program, okay? And I feel like you are someone that really does make a difference for so many, okay? What people find magnetic also about you, uh, Ponomer 2, is that people may come to you with like ideas, and these ideas may be, you know, something they're afraid of pursuing, and you actually are like, no, like go after, do it. And you, you really do convince them to do it. You know, you help them to see the greatness of their work, the greatness of their business, the, the content that they create, like you really do. All right. You help encourage, oh my gosh, the eight of pentacles came out. So yeah, it's, it's something about people's work. All right. They may struggle with the confidence to maybe post it to go pro with it to go live with it and it's like no you're you're really in their ear like no you're amazing you you speak affirmations to these souls okay it's so healing like it's that's i i'm like lost for words and i feel like that's what it is pot number two you really do make them have no choice but to you know what what am i waiting for you know what go after it go for it you know this is definitely definitely some kind of work environment whatever you do for work okay i pick up on that like this could be your co-workers this could be your students this could be your your children your siblings you know your friends children take it how it resonates but i feel like you definitely do help them grow like you help them grow you mold people into he other healers all right so it's like you help heal those and they actually walk away with that healing you know ready to heal other people as well all right okay so i'm gonna pull one more Anything else, bro? What do people find magnetic about them? You may like to wear pearls. There's definitely a lot of femininity in here. Femininity. That always is like a tongue twister to me. <clears throat> 18 could be significant. That could be like 2018 or like just the 18th. Okay, we have four of cups. Okay, so... You may also be um, someone that gentle parents, okay? Because this four of cups, like you may really um, deal with people that have maybe experienced neglect, that have, um, what are, I'm trying to think, what is those schools called? Hmm, I can't remember, but there's, where I'm at, you guys, there's certain schools that uh, certain children go and these children are children that have gotten uh, kicked out of like public schools so they have to go into this other school but these schools have bad names like bad reps they give it as like oh those are the schools for the bad kids right but you are like a teacher in that school okay so you help give these students a chance all right you help them want to heal you know deep down like you know what why do i act up you know you have people like that okay some of you guys may have felt drawn to pot number one because i'm getting something also about parents as well you spread this healing energy to all these i want to say broken souls okay and these are souls that just have not experienced love genuine love genuine support all right they have not um, experienced someone that actually cares about them so you give them that you give these individuals this and you allow them to walk away with all of that, with all of that healed, loved energy, okay? And that's probably why I was getting also tell me again because you may notice they may become attached to you. You That may be something that also, you know, 
I don't know, it's a little hard for you. You may actually become attached to people. You genuinely love so many different people. I'm also thinking of a NICU, okay? So like, you know how they help different babies, you know, sick babies, and they, they aid them back to good health. And you may, you know, when it's time for them to go, you may, oh, like, I'm gonna miss them. You know, you genuinely will miss these people. And I feel like these people know this, okay? It, this is so beautiful. Like, I love this, Panama 2. I feel like you are loved, so loved, all right, by, again, everyone, all right? Um, that's funny because the Empress is in the back of the deck. So that goes, again, back to what I said about you being, like, a mother to all of them, a father to all of them, Okay? a coach, a leader, a teacher, someone that actually gives someone faith again. It's 22-22 on the timestamp. Um, but now I'm actually really interested to figure out this name of them schools. I, I cannot remember, but they have like this bad rep and you really do give people a new reputation, pawn number two. Okay, 222 may you know be an angel number that you see a lot. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end it there, okay? You just give people new opportunities, okay? So you're a beautiful soul, pot number two. A very beautiful soul, okay? I send you love. I send you light. If this reading resonated with you, feel free to let me know. I would love to know. With that being said, love and light and bye-bye. All right, so if you chose pot number three, this is your reading, pot number three. So let's see, what do people find magnetic about you? Okay, so I actually did get a channel song for you as well, pile number three, right before I hit this record button. It's crazy how that's been happening. So the song that I got for you was a song by Future, and it's one of his old songs. It's called Turn On The Lights, okay? And I was hearing the verse when he's like, I'm looking for her, all right? And I believe in this song, he was like describing what he was looking for, right? And I feel like this could be one of the things that people find magnetic about you is because, you know, you are like the ideal person that someone would love to be with, can see themselves maybe having children with, you know, settling down with, you know, also friend, friendship wise, okay? You are the ideal friend to someone, okay? You check off everything off the list is pretty much what I'm getting from that message, okay? Some of you guys with the turn on the lights as well. You also could be in the spotlight, all right? This is something that people find magnetic about you. And it's funny because I'm looking at this image and she's sleeping, right? And that goes back to the other channel messages. But before I get into that, it's also, again, this spotlight that you have that you may not also want all the time, okay? So, yeah, I do feel like there's this humbleness about you. All right, you is it does feel like you you hide a little bit. I'm not sure like what what uh, spirit is saying about that. So hiding is relevant in here as well. Okay, you may hide your light. Honestly, you may hide the fact that you are um, a celebrity. You may hide the fact that you you know have this platform, whether that's online. You know whether you're known for something. I'm also getting like an author. Okay, so you may hide this when you are out in public. I do feel like you you really do like um, when everyone is treated the same. You know you don't want no special treatment just because you are who you are. Okay, and I feel like. That's very humble of you, pawn number three. And this is one of the things that people find magnetic about you. All right. And that's funny how this is future too. Like one of the songs. I don't really listen to his music like that. So that was just so random. Future could also like be significant. You know, maybe you guys are just so big on your future. You know, you like you want a better future and you actually advocate for that. All right. I feel like you definitely advocate for something. All right, and one of the messages that I wrote down was Isis. So I assume that's a name, okay? Yeah, <clears throat> I actually don't remember now why I wrote that down. Because I, I normally write all these channel messages for each piles before I, re like, record. So, yeah, Isis could be significant. So I'm just going to say that's a name. But I also wrote down, um, I was hearing, is anyone home? I was like, hello, is anyone home? 
And when I put down hello, it made me think of Adele, the singer. So that's funny. A lot of singers is in this, um, in these piles. Okay. So I'm not sure if like I have a collective that sings because yeah, a lot of singers here. So some of you guys may also like the singer Adele. Okay. Um, I know Adele, she like went through a big transformation. She lost a lot of weight. So something about that could also be uh, significant. Okay. Um, this could be something that people find magnetic about you is that you have, again, you know, transformed your life. Okay. But again, back to the hello, is anyone home? This is like similar to like sleeping beauty. So honestly, <laughs> number three, <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but what's magnetic about you is, is your avoidance. Literally, it's simply your avoidance. Okay. I feel like you avoid, um, <clears throat> you avoid situations that may trigger or upset you or, um, that may leave you drained, tired, you know, take it how it resonates. And I feel like this is including people as well. All right. I feel like if you're not feeling the vibe of something or someone, um, I feel like you will disconnect. Literally, you will disconnect until the time being. Okay. I also heard, I put the channel message. I'm going to sit this one out. Okay. So yeah, you could be someone that's just very upfront. All right. If you're not feeling it, if you're not feeling good, if you're not liking the vibes, you're not afraid to say that. Okay. You may not, you know, blurt it out for the whole world to hear, but you are definitely respecting, um, you know, your intuition. Okay. Your gut feelings. Okay, and this is something that people definitely find magnetic about you. All right, and I also did write down um, that you may have people that want to be around you. Okay, so whether this is like want to be around you, you know, or like go out with you, like always inviting you, you know, places, something about that. But, you know, maybe sometimes you're just not feeling it. Okay, I do feel like your mood kind of fluctuates um, as much as the weather does. Okay, so... I'm not meaning that in like a smart way, just that's what I was feeling, okay? Something about like your mood kind of being connected to uh, <clears throat> the weather, okay? So for example, if it's raining, you may not want to go outside. You may not feel called to go outside. And I just feel like you're just someone that's open about that. You may speak um, openly about things that people may, you know, find like, hmm, that's an interesting excuse, you know, but it's like, it's actually, you know, the truth. All right. You may really, you know, really speak your mind, pot number three. Um, I did put, you prefer a nice spring day over a hot summer day. Okay. So yeah, definitely weather here could be significant. It's like, you don't want to be overly hot. You don't want to be overly stimulated. You know, you just, it's similar to, um, what is that movie? Lord. Okay. It's not even a movie. It's, um, I forgot. With the bears and, Lord, I'm like, my brain is like not functioning. Okay, but I'm sure you guys may know what I'm talking about. When she like tries each bed and she's like, oh, this one's too hard or this one's too soft. And then the third one is, oh, just right. You know, it's, I think it's Goldilocks, something like that here. So yeah, your energy is similar to Goldilocks. Okay, this is so funny. All right, y'all don't mind me. I'm, Lord, my brain. But yeah, okay, I feel like something about that here. I feel like if the temperature is not right, if the vibe is not, you know, hitting, you are just not, you're not feeling it. All right, and you just, you will speak about it, pawn number three. And I feel like this is something that people do find magnetic about you is because it's your honesty. All right. Okay, and what else did I put down? Okay, I did put down your sensitivity. Oh, I forgot to mention about the sun. Okay, so I did also put down like when the sun is out, you're out. But when the moon is out, you're in. Okay, so that's so funny because that makes sense why I got like your sensitivity. So I do feel like you guys are sensitive to, you know, the different energies, the different vibrations, you know, of the day to day. You may be like birth chart readers or energy healers you know take it how it resonates but i feel like this is one of the things that also make you magnetic is because you're able to tell like the day someone's gonna have or you're able to just tell like 
what the day will be. You may be good at predicting things, okay? I feel like people find you magnetic because you're psychic, okay? You definitely have a gift, all right? And sometimes that gift may leave you drained, all right? May leave you wanting to isolate because it's like, again, going back to the beginning when is anyone home, all right? So when you may disappear, people may feel drawn to, you know, reach out to you, drawn to be near you because, you know, they are fascinated by you. They are fascinated also by your gift, okay? Okay, I definitely feel like you're able to read energy, all right? Like read emotions, okay? Something about that here. All right, and then I also wrote dreams, okay? So definitely that makes sense. You know, she's sleeping, all right? And I did pick up on like sleeping beauty. So some of the things that also make you magnetic is your dreams. You may receive messages, predictions, downloads, all right? I feel like a lot of people are really fascinated about, about this. Like they're so interested in this okay like I was seeing someone's eyes like go big it's like shocking okay so you may really predict things you're on point with something all right or you're just on point all the time okay um for example like with the uh weather you know you may not be feeling up to something that day and it, it's possible because it's going to storm that day so it's like you deciding to stay in you know canceling plans actually worked out in your favor or maybe worked out in everyone else's favor because it was going to be a storm that day you know I hope that makes sense pound number three but you're definitely able to like kind of predict the energy of the day all right and this is something that people find magnetic about you all right the um other message that I got was the dreams that you have for yourself and also for those that you love, okay? So you, when you are dreaming, when you are manifesting, okay, you also envision yourself with the people that you love. So whether that's like your children, your um, children's children, your friends, your siblings, you know, the people that have supported you, I feel like you allow them all to be included in this manifestation, in this dream. You may also manifest with people as well, okay? So again, you put people on, all right? So whether you know about manifestation or again, you heard someone manifesting, I feel like you will make like a whole group activity or something. You will include everybody, all right? It's like, I want everyone to dream. I want everyone to reach their dreams, okay? That's that's really nice of you, pawn number three. I did put in the notes also you're a good mom slash dad, okay? So definitely a good parent, all right? You are a role model to your children, all right? I'm even getting like your children's friends, okay? Like they look up to you. I feel like you're like a full-time um, parent. Some of you guys may be single parents, okay? Take it how it resonates, but I do feel like you are like a full-time parent. You're a full-time worker. Um, some of you guys may have like your own business, but you still make time for your kids. So it's like at the end of the day, you're tired, all right? And you may, again, you know, you may share that with your friends. You may share that with, you know, the people that you're close to. Like, all right, mama needs a break. Dad needs a break, all right? And I do feel like a lot of people respect that about you, okay, because you would just be honest. You don't make up, you know, any kind of excuse. The excuse you give is actually what it is, okay? Okay, so I also <clears throat> I also was seeing um, a fish, okay? Now, I was actually seeing this in the image, okay? So now that's funny because fishes is like Pisces energy right and pisces in tarot um the pisces card is the moon so that's funny how i got the moon and dreams so definitely dreams your intuition your gifts all right you're in tuned with the universe this is what people find magnetic about you I, I honestly some of you guys could be tarot readers you could be a uh, tarot readers you could have your own channel um it doesn't even have to be tarot reading like i said some of you guys could do like natal chart readings okay um, honestly, some of you may also not even be aware of like the other gifts that you have, you know, I feel like definitely that's something that's big here is the fact that you're so in tune with so much, even, um, your children, your family, I feel like the connections you have with people, they're so close there. They are a connection on a soul level. Okay. And I was seeing the number four. 
okay so when i noticed that i was getting fish pisces and then fours i'm like okay there's something about symbolism here okay so this may be something that also is magnetic about you you may look for a sign in everything there's something about you being so on point here okay so the ability to be able to point out symbolism is one of the other things that makes you magnetic um pile number three and now that i'm thinking about the turning on the lights i also feel like you could be someone that um, is very big on revealing things that's been hidden you know in the dark i believe i said that you are the pile like i feel like you advocate for something all right so like a better future for the world you know better future for you know children for you know adults you know the working life you know it's it's definitely something that you may speak on advocate on and i feel like this is something that people find so magnetic about you okay i also feel like you give a heads up to people so with the turning on the lights again it's like you're able to predict things you're able to you know tell people what to expect all right so that's very powerful pile number three i feel like you have a lot of gifts that make you um to be this special person all right so let's get into your oracle card okay so you guys actually got number 12. so let's see <clears throat> okay so number 12 is all is connected yes that's so funny. All is connected. And I said something about symbolism. Okay. So number 12, innovation, transformation, growth, and release. A girl sits on a tree trunk and holds leaves in her hands. While others blow away in the wind, a small spider holds a few leaves together with his fine filament even though the wind threatens to tear them apart, don't be afraid of changes. Release your fear by letting go. Change is hard and often painful, but it is the only way to grow. You may drift, but you will never lose yourself. Life goes on and nothing ends. It is reshaped into something new by the wind. Not better or worse, but different. And in that change, lies wonder and openings wow that's funny so pile number three you're someone that is you're okay with changes you're okay with endings you're okay with separations you understand everything happens for a reason all right i love that so yeah all is connected I feel like you guys may, you know, live by, you know, affirmations, by models. You know, you're just inspired by a lot, like a lot of greatness, okay, surrounds you. Pile number three, I feel like this is another thing that people find magnetic about you. Okay, and that also goes back to the manifesting. So you may have a way, like a manifesting technique that you teach to other people. Okay, you may actually be able to detach from this manifestation you know put it out you know to god to the universe and trust that it will come all right so i feel like a lot of people just see um you know a lot of greatness around you they see a lot of things manifesting you know beside you like everything's literally at your feet like that's i'm being drawn to her foot right now so it's like you really do have so much right now okay turn on the lights it's like you're in the spotlight okay you do have eyes on you and this is what people find magnetic about you and it's like she's sleeping it's like she is like completely sleeping and there's so many people watching her all right you have people that look up to you pond number three and i feel like this is something that people find you know magnetic about you is that you have you know obtained all these you know um support you know, um, genuine followers, you know, I definitely do feel like you're in the spotlight. Okay. So let's pull a couple cards from tarot. Snakes could also be significant. I don't know. For some reason I'm seeing that, that red string. Um, I don't know if it's snake. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Honestly, red string. Okay. Okay, so like red string, so this calls to be like evil eye protection. You guys protect yourself as well. Like I do feel like 
you definitely do speak about things that people don't hear about. And this is what people find magnetic about you, okay? You speak about spiritual stuff. You speak about, you know, things that people would never think to get into. You may notice like a lot of people kind of pick up after you. You definitely inspire people. Okay, so I'm hearing your wish is my command. So yeah, you're definitely good at something. You're good at manifesting. You're good at wishing. You're good at dreaming, okay? So people do feel like whatever you say, they can believe, they can trust, and I feel like they can actually like listen to it. They they believe that you give good advice something about that here and you know what this is making me think of this is making me think of like meditation music like for example i have one on right now um i i think this one is for to remove any you know anxiety remove um negative energy like stuff like that i can't remember like word from word but you know how like each meditation song has like a list of things that it helps with so there's something about that here. You may do that. You, whether that's like singing, um, you know, any kind of healing that you give, like you may list the things that it helps, you know, benefits and it actually does. And I feel like people believe in you. Like people really believe what you give is, you know, what it is, you know, what you say it is, is what it is. Okay. Pot number three. Yeah. And I feel like this is, again, <clears throat> one of the things that people find magnetic is because you obtained all of this, like, just from this, you know, it's it's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. It's, I'm hearing that's wild, like, wow, you know, it's fascinating to a lot of people. Okay, so let's just pull a couple cards. <laughs> Why did the first card come out? Strength. It's funny how strength came out. I'm telling you, every time, like, I see, like, orange or gold i immediately think of leo or lions okay and again that goes back to uh, the leo energy of just being in the light okay so you are you know low-key famous you are high-key famous you know you're someone that a lot of people know about okay they know you have something that a lot of people love okay this is one of the things that people find magnetic about you. I feel like you're also very kind as well. You know, the fact that she's sleeping, it, it feels like a safe place, okay? So whether this is like your home, whether this is like your hugs, your warm embrace, okay? It's very magnetic, okay? Because people feel so safe around you. They can sleep knowing that, you know, you're right there. You're protecting them, okay? Like, I definitely do feel like, you know, a lot of people feel safe around you. We have the hanged man here. Now, I'm not seeing the hanged man as a bad thing. Honestly, I feel like the hanged man is actually a good card because it just reminds you when you are put at a pause or a stagnancy, you know, you kind of do or maybe you're forced, right? Maybe you are forced to see something from a different perspective. And I feel like you have kind of put that around people. You have kind of put people, you know, at a halt, you know, you, you let them see some things from a different perspective, whether that's about themselves, whether that's about the world, whether that's about the things that they can bring in. Okay. I feel like it's definitely something about the consciousness as well okay so this is one of the things that people find magnetic about you is that you help shift their consciousness to help them believe that they can attract so much that they can do this that they can manifest this that they can dream about this that it's okay to dream this it's okay to dream big all right i feel like you really do um put that into people okay and it's because you are that you allow people to see the vision all right, I heard born again. So mm, <clears throat> that's funny, born again. So again, I feel like this just goes back to like this new level of awareness that you give people, pot number three. And this is what people find magnetic about you. And didn't I say something about you being in the spotlight because of that song? The Six of Wands came out. Everyone knows the Six of Wands is like the card of, you know, being in the public eye, being, you know, cheered on, having, you know, a lot of people that support you, okay? So this is definitely very big, all right? This is like the main energy that I feel for you, Pot Number 3. You're definitely someone that is leading um, 
I'm hearing like success, like victory, like this is something that is so big, whether that is online, you know, whether that's in a community, I'm not sure, take it how it resonates with you, but you have some sort of advancement in, you know, whatever you do for work, whatever you offer, all right, and it's blossoming, okay, and this is what people find magnetic about you, all right, I've, I'm hearing like family, friends, okay, so they're, they're, you know, fascinated because again you obtained all of this the hangman here is kind of like wow like i i see a different side in pot number three all right i see why they they dream so big now because they're so good at this okay very ambitious pot number three okay and it's like not only are you this but you you help other people um become this as well i was getting that a lot in all the piles actually it's like a lot of selfless energy it's like a lot of you know, the piles, they want other people to be happy. They want other people to succeed. You know, they want other people to be inspired. And I love that. I love that so much, pile number three. You're very strong. I feel like you're someone that has, you know, truly believed in your dreams and you have manifested them into your reality. I feel like a lot of you guys are seeing that you are living, you know, things that you have manifested, you know, years ago, maybe 10 days ago, you know, 20 days ago. Take it how it resonates, but you are literally um, proving that this technique or whatever technique that you do works, okay? This is what people um, find magnetic about you, okay? So I'm going to end it there. So if this reading resonated with you, feel free to let me know. I would love to know. With that being said, love and light and bye-bye.